Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode, we're gonna be looking at event delegation. That's where events get delegated. Uh, yeah, anyway, stupid joke aside, um, instead of actually explaining to you uh, how event delegation works and what it is, I'm gonna show you an instance where um, you can use it and where it's a problem and where, where event delegation is the solution. So uh, here I've got this, uh, this Flickr browser um, or my, it, I'm, uh, I've got a bunch of preloaded images on the side. When you hit next group, it's going to make an Ajax request, get the next bunch of images. Um, but let's have a look at it from uh, from the starting point. So I click on an image, it loads the image and puts it into the um, into this body over here. Um, and I can click on all these images here. Now the way the code set up is when I click on next group, it loads up the next group of images. Um, you didn't really see anything happen there, but it's changed. And um, when you click on uh, these I these uh, thumbnails, nothing happens. So there's the bug. Basically, something in the DOM changes and the code that we ran right at the beginning of our application um, doesn't work anymore. There's no JavaScript errors. Um, it just doesn't work. So let's have a look at the code and see why. Okay, so these are my uh, images that start when I load up. So when I reload the page fresh, these are the images that you see, okay? Um, I have a few bits of code down here. This is my Flickr URL so I can go to the next page and so on. These, this is the click handler. So if you click on any one of those images, in fact, actually this should be UL or pictures, uh, pictures.find images. Um, pictures, yes, pictures. Um, when you click on one of those images, it will uh, go and grab the source URL. So this thing here, okay and it'll strip off the underscore S and then load up the big image, which is which is great and works. We could see it work in the first place. Now, when I click on uh, next, this code down here and at the bottom, when I click on next, it goes to the next page of Flickr images and loads them into, um, into my DOM. Now, the problem is these images up here that I've attached those click handlers, they get discarded, they're no longer in the DOM, which means those click handlers no, long, no longer exist and no longer work. So when those new images are loaded, clicking them doesn't do anything. Now one way that I'd probably solve this, um, if I were you or you were me or whatever, um, without insulting anyone, is to copy and paste, okay? So I've copied the copy and paste the code, does exactly the same thing as it did when a page loaded up, Let's try that now. Let's just skip to the next page. Okay, yep, that's now working. But the problem is we have this dry rule, DRY, so do not repeat yourself. And this code here is exactly the same as this code up here. And and actually there's, um, in some cases where there's, uh, uh, where you're just repeating this all the time, you may not wanna just keep attaching these click handlers. Why can't we say if I click on any image that's inside this, this element here, over in this corner on the left, if I click on any one of those images, regardless of whether or not it was there to start off with, or whether it's there much later in my application's lifetime, when we click on it, I just wanna run a piece of code. And that code is take whatever image it was clicked on, take the href, uh, sorry, the source, drop out the underscore s, and load that, that image. Well, that's what event delegation does for us. And that's uh, the delegate method in jQuery. Okay, so instead of doing pictures.findimage.click, we're going to um, we're going to give the UL the uh, the pictures element uh, um, element the job of listening for clicks on the image. Okay, now the syntax is is very very similar, but instead of finding the image, okay, we do delegate gate image, and then we just need to make this an argument, so a string. Oops, whoa, where have I gone? Let's go back. Um, so this is the syntax. Okay, so I've literally changed that from find image dot click. Yep, dot click, sorry, missed a bracket there. Okay, so this is the old syntax, comment that out. This is the new syntax, delegate image click douche, boom. Okay, so that's our new code. Let's get rid of the uh, that, that repeated bit of code. Just save that. Okay, let, let's save this and just run it, see what happens. Okay, so, right, the default the default position still works. I can still click on images uh, when the page loads up and it still works. 
go on to that next group. And I can still click on those images as well. And it's using event delegation to do that. Okay, so there are some more. Okay, now if I open up the web inspector, um, what's happening is I'm telling this UL, this UL that contains all these LIs and images to listen for any clicks. And if a click happens and it matches the selects that I've given it, then run my, my, my handler. So we're saying UL, listen for any of this type of event. If the element matches this selector, so this could be image or it could be uh, li image, it's a normal CSS selector, then run this function. Okay, this now means that any image that's uh, loaded onto this page, as long as it's inside of this pictures element and it matches this selector, if we click on it, it will run this code. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't have to be inserted using my JSON. Uh, callback, it could be something else that loads them in. I can maybe drag and dropping images into that little block there, um, but it will still work. It will still run this block of code. Okay, and that's event delegation. Um, very, very straightforward. You can find out more on uh, api.jquery.com slash delegate. A um, bit more information there. Um, you've also got the undelegate, which is, um, so if you imagine delegate is like bind uh, for events, you've got undelegate, which is like unbind for the event, uh, for the event and the selector, uh, very straightforward to use um, and very useful for when you're kind of dynamically changing the DOM and you want those um, those event handlers to remain in place. So it works for click handlers, um, mouse move, key up, key down, all, all those different types of events. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, please drop a comment on jQueryfordesigns.com. Otherwise, thank you for uh, watching. Cheers.